Alright guys, I'm back with my review of Redneck Island Season 3, Episode 3, The Human Slingshot. And the episode starts off with the blue team calling Travis out on his lies. And he lies about some weird shit, like, uh, says he wasn't really married, and then, um, says he is married. It, it just doesn't make any sense, because I guess he wanted people to think he was married so that they would feel like he has a family and maybe they would want to see him win and then he says he's not married to the girls to try to get them to flirt with him so he can get their votes I have no idea what he's thinking um, didn't make any sense to me either way but they call him out on it um, but he still thinks he's running things he'll do a confessional and say oh I, I'm just letting Lindsay think she's in charge and so she feels important and then Lindsay will do a confessional and says uh, I know what he's doing so it was kind of funny. Camp challenge. They have to get beer from a tap through a hose up a hill and fill up 16 glasses to win a keg. They win the keg, so they all get drunk. Um, the next day, Bucket is outside shooting at seagulls with a bow and arrow. Why would he do this? It's just dumb. It's dumb shit. The reckoning is the human slingshot challenge. And they all have to get launched into the air and throw a dart and hit a target. Um, Woodle gets very close to the center, wins it for the green team. So Mike's going around. And since blue team has to send someone else home, Mike feels like he may be on the chopping block. So he's going around camp acting like a boss, telling everybody Travis is going home. Like he's running things. He's like the last person to be running things. Um, so this was hilarious to me. And then Philip takes a bump on the stairs, dislocating his knee. So now Blue Team has an injured player. The doctor says he can still compete, but I mean, he's limping. So at Steve's place, they send home Mike. It wasn't really a surprise. His entire team thought he was just really weak, so uh, he was expendable to them. But Blue Team is in a bad way right now. Uh, but next week's show looks really good. Travis is going to start fighting with Cody, apparently. And they do a physical challenge, which were always my favorite in the Road Rules real-world challenge shows, where they strap a harness to them and they got to pull each other. So those are always really fun challenges, especially when people are fighting. Um, so next week's show looks really good, but I like this week's show. I thought it had some really funny stuff on here, the way Travis and Mike think they're running everything. And, um, they're probably the ones most likely to get voted off if the team fails again. Uh, so Mike's gone, and Travis is probably up next, unless Philip is just completely useless in challenges. Uh, then it'll probably be Philip, then Travis. But who knows? I thought it was a good show. So that's my review of uh, the Human Slingshot episode. Hope you guys liked the video. Leave your thoughts on this episode in the comments, and thanks for watching.